Yeah, I'm, I'm Dimitrios. I'm from, from Greece. I am a captain in the Merchant Marine by profession, which means that I travel a lot. I'm of a Christian uh, Orthodox background. I was very fortunate that I was uh, raised in a family where both my grandmothers were very faithful. 2008, I started feeling that something was wrong in my life for no, for no particular reason. Inside of me, like the, the something was, was asking for, for something else. It was, I was unhappy. So I've, I quit drinking, I quit smoking. And um, later on that year, in 2008, I had a breakdown, I, I, I crashed. Some years later, um, it was around 2010 probably, um, on a deep uh, meditation that I did, I felt that there was a, a, a voice. Um, and that voice inside of me was telling me that at some point I'm gonna be, meet a person who is going to um, help me advance in my life. When I asked that voice in my meditation, you know, what's the name of that person or how do I identify with that person, that voice inside of me uh, goes to me, Hercules and the lion. Hercules and the lion. What do you do with that? It's no name, it's nothing, it's, it's nothing. It, it makes no sense to me. It, it just agitated me. I take my car, and I started driving towards northern Greece to see where it was going to take me. I had no plan. At some point, I was in the mountains, and I was stuck behind a, a truck. It was a, it was a truck of a cement, uh, you know, company, and in the back of the truck, it had a green logo. And the green logo had basically the face of Hercules, and and a lion head on his head. You know, I was questioning myself, I'm like, maybe I have to meet someone from that company, or maybe the truck is gonna lead me to where I'm gonna meet the person, or, you know, something like, but I didn't know how to come about it. And uh, when I got back home, I said to myself, um, why don't I take a round the world trip with Star Alliance and go see my friends? On the flight, you know, I'm, I'm a tall guy. I was sitting uh, on, an, on the aisle seat behind the emergency exit uh, chairs. So at some point, you know, I was feeling tight uh, on my seat and I stretched my legs underneath the, the seats and I, and I kicked the feet of the person who was sitting in front of me. So that person turns around and he looks at me and I go to him, uh, well, what do you want? You know, like, you know, okay, so. So it was this dark-skinned uh, man with long hair. He was wearing a T-shirt, uh, sweatpants, and he was uh, traveling next to this other guy. His companion was a, a white, bald guy. So, you know, they just struck my attention and I was just observing them for the rest of the flight until Thessaloniki. Um, we got off the plane, we were waiting for password control in Thessaloniki. He was in front of me. Uh, he turns around and uh, he tells me, you know, he asked me where I was from, what I was doing. You know, we had some small talk there in the line. I turn to him and I ask him, so what do you do? And he turns to his companion and he says to him, uh, what do I do? And his companion turns to me and he goes like, uh, Let's just say he's a, uh, he, he's a life coach. So I, I go to him, I'm like, so what do you do? Like uh, energy work, uh, Reiki, yoga? He's like, no, 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 let's say, let's say yoga. I was okay, so we go back on the plane. And during that flight, he was showing me pictures of icons of Orthodox saints and um, we were discussing, which created a relation with me. Uh, and at some point he turns to me and he's like, uh, you know, I'm gonna go stay with uh, my friend uh, so-and-so. And he gave me a random name. Uh, do you know him? And I tell myself, what kind of question is that? No, 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 I don't know him. And he goes to me, well, he used to be the owner of uh, Hercules Cement Company. So, as you understand, you know, my mind started going like uh, crazy because, you know, Hercules and the lion, 
the logo is that the man that I'm supposed to meet? Is this guy gonna introduce me to someone? Then my mind started going crazy again, you know, creating, you know, all these synapses in my in my head. And the way I see it is, is how uh, this has been planned by the divine over a long period of time. So this is how I met uh, Guruji. Uh, you know, I had no interest in India, no interest in Hinduism, but then things started happening in my life. And then I, the divine brought me to the situation that he was there to pick me up. With him, I found uh, unconditional love. And, uh, and when I visited the ashram, I found a community that uh, felt like home. And for me, he's my guru and my spiritual father.